if you have an RV shower uh, that looks sort of like this one, there's a couple of three things you can do to improve the functionality of these showers. Let me show you this. These things come with rubber stoppers that prevent the doors from being opened all the way. So you end up with this smaller gap. The gap size is actually about two inches narrower than what you can get away with if you simply remove the stoppers. Now these these are the inside stoppers. They prevent the doors from they prevent the right door from going too far left and the left door from going too far right. That's really their only purpose. They don't serve any function as far as shutting the doors correctly, the doors closing and snapping together correctly, anything like that. But the exact same stopper is also preventing the doors from opening all the way. So if we go over here, the screwdriver is going to point to the hole where the right hand stopper was before I removed it with a screwdriver. Uh, it, it stopped the door at least an inch before it hit the wall. Same thing on this side. You'll see the hole there on the, on the left door and the stopper would prevent it would stop uh, at least at least an inch before it hit the wall now the edge of that door is um, it's got a plastic you know strip on it there's no damage is going to happen to the door no damage is going to happen to the wall there is no reason at all to try to prevent the door from hitting the wall no damage will be caused it's crazy so take those outside stoppers out and do whatever you want to with them <laughs> the uh, the other problem that uh, the shower stall had from the factory is they did not put any sealant in this gap right here right between the uh, floor pan and that bottom uh, that black strip right there was wide open if you were uh, inside the shower cleaning it with the uh, spray nozzle water would shoot under the black strip and out into the floor even with the door closed so I used some uh, clear NP125 which is a urethane sealant and uh, you don't have to gob it on you just got to close the gap that's it and uh, since I've done that there's no more problems with that um, go from corner to corner all the way across and uh, you know it's that was two years ago um, I've got some little discoloration in it I'm gonna probably tear it out and redo it you know once every two years pretty good deal you don't uh, you don't get any better than that really so the other problem is the floor weakness of the floor people complain about this a lot and i was one of them man i'd get in this thing and the floor would rock back and forth you feel like it's going to collapse now it is rock solid well it's it's way more solid than it was okay it uh there's there's limitations to what you can do under here but let me show you what it is all these plywood pieces here um, were, you know, just some scrap that I had laying around. The only thing that the, the shower had in it was this styrofoam insulation sheet. And if you look all the way on the uh, right or left, you'll see a thin piece of plywood uh, of right there. That that is uh, uh, supports most of the bottom of the shower. But there's this huge hole that they cut to allow for plumbing uh, fixture access and all that. All these other wooden pieces in here that I'm drawing on, I installed those. Because there was no support there. None whatsoever. So I just took some scrap, uh, you know, the headline around, you know, cut it up in little different pieces, you know. Um, and uh, the only uh, parts that, uh, that, you know, you really need like a, maybe a skill saw or something for are those top two layers 
uh, closest to the styrofoam. I'm going to show you a diagram. I just I'm not going to take all this apart. It it isn't glued in there, um, but uh, I I just don't want to disassemble it. You know, it's working for me the way it is. So, but you've got to cut some notches out for the plumbing. You see, I'm pointing at the plumbing pipe that comes down there. You've got to notch your wood so that it reaches around the plumbing pipe because you really need support um, directly above that piece of uh, plumbing pipe and around it toward the bottom there. So the, 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 the thicker pieces of wood, the flooring, is more like your foundation and you build up from there. Um, the, the, what I'm trying to show here is that the plumbing the reason I did this wasn't just because I didn't like the way the floor felt. It was actually leaking. It turned out that the action of, you know, getting in the shower and and walking around, stepping around in there was causing this plumbing to bounce up and down. And the, the bottom of that plumbing is a P-trap. And it was uh, resting on top of another piece of uh, that styrofoam insulation that is in the floor. It's a way thicker piece in the floor. They kind of dug a hole out in the styrofoam so the plumbing could rest on it. And that was what they considered support for the shower. Not cool. The action of, you know, moving around in there caused a leak. And I luckily just so happened to just be in the right place at the right time outside, kneeling down, uh, probably cleaning my black tank, I don't recall. But I saw one drop of water. Uh, come down and I, that's what showed me that there was a leak anyway so the the black dot is the looking downward that's your plumbing pipe the other two pieces are showing you how I cut those top two pieces of plywood there's two pieces there's that are um, that's the second piece okay so two pieces on top and then this is the one the one I'm drawing now is the piece that's under these two pieces. That piece that I'm drawing supports the top two pieces. I know my art is horrible and that's a bunch of lines to look at there, but you gotta understand that second piece down supports the top two pieces that are above it. And then everything else is just jacks, you know, uh, and, and foundation. So now when you step in the shower, uh, everything's fairly solid. You can take that out. Nothing's glued in place. Nothing's screwed in place. If you need to do any work in the shower, you can take those out. Those uh, two by two jacks, I'm pretty sure, I'm not absolutely positive, I'm pretty sure I installed those, but those are supporting the original uh, piece of plywood that, is, that was supporting the shower. They just needed more support. So um, this is, you know, everybody's going to be a little bit different. Everybody's shower pan is probably going to be a little bit different. But that's what you got to do right there to make this work. And it works great. So just take some scrap wood and get to sawing, you know. Just kind of take an eyeball, look at it, and see what you need to do. But that's it. Hey, you know, if you like what you see, please like the video share it to somebody you know it has an rv and subscribe hit that subscribe button it's very important this day and age youtube is uh shutting us down if we don't have a thousand subscribers so when i hit a thousand i've got a little planned giveaway i've already figured out what i'm going to give away uh, it will involve a super secret, top secret code word, which was on one of the previous videos from today. Uh, it, uh, if you have that and you uh, happen to get to stick around till we hit a thousand, then you will have a very, very good chance at winning something pretty cool. All right. Well, I don't think I can point at this wood anymore and explain any more without taking it apart and I'm not taking it apart so <laughs> thanks for watching have a nice day